One, two, three. three. Alright, let's run it. Let's run it. What are we running? The Whiskey Sour Hour. What's wrong with Whiskey on a Wednesday? What up and welcome to another episode of the Whiskey Sour Hour. I'm half your host, Evan, a.k.a. The Movie Martyr, and here with me, as always, my man, Saman. Saman, a.k.a. Saman Almighty. Also joining us in the studio, or letting us borrow their studio, we've got two-thirds of the Let's Smoke About It crew, Christian and Antoine. Yo, yo, yo. Uh, What's good? What hey, up, everybody? Hey... People are excited because we've been teasing this collab a lot. We've been talking about. Yeah, we've been talking about. We've got some friends that we're excited to do episodes with and all that good shit. And they didn't know who it was, and so now they can officially know that we're chilling in the studio with the Let's Smoke About a Crew. Hey, hell yeah, that's hell love, yeah. Bro. Yes, sir, man. It's oh, yeah, always definitely. fun to do collab, you know, podcasts yeah. and just have different people on the pod, man. You know what I mean? Most definitely, bro. Get some different opinions going. Get some different thoughts out there, you know. Get and some people to pass some crown Ooh, royals sheesh. out too. Oh, and man. you guys haven't tried these, I'm assuming. Nah, yeah, I I was actually just lit as hell when I seen y'all come in with these, bro. Cause I saw that the crown royal dropped them, but I have not tried these yet. And the they textured the whiskey. Can. Yeah, the textured. I like the texture Let's of the can. Go. Damn. We'll get the I'll full reviews it. here and what you guys think. But yeah, Shit. we've been drinking these as of lately on the pod, so I've been really enjoying them. Really convenient, you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, crown, it's gonna be interesting. Crown whiskey cola, man. Honestly, though, it's right up my alley, bro. Because I drink crown and crown, crown and coke, you know, whatever. Yes, sir. It's one of my go tos when I go to a bar, you know oh, what yeah. I'm saying? So, oh, yeah, it's just like they already knew they're gonna make some money on this, <laughs> yeah, you yeah. know. It's easy, it's, it's easy, a smart one, yeah. I no, it is. That. So, they got the whiskey cola, they got a peach tea as well, and then the last one they have is like a it's apple. the apple. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if that's with soda or with Coke. Uh, I don't know. Could be wrong. Maybe this hmm. is the Crown Apple Coke mix. But those are the only three I think they have. I got you. Yeah, I was about to say, I've seen the Apple one. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. But I, this, the, the this is what caught my eye, the the OG, Crown and Coke. I was like, damn. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Went in with it. I actually don't drink. So. I mean. But I'm going to drink this. Don't get me wrong. Hey. I, I drink. I just. Not, I, nothing I, too also, crazy. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, no, I'm not. I'm not scared of it. No, I like. I <laughs> like. Cracks it open. Oh, shit. I like vodka though. I do fuck with vodka. See, I'm like, I'm on the other end of that spectrum. A lot of people don't fuck with vodka. I don't. Yeah, I'm we one don't. Of them. We we're one of them too. Yeah, yeah, yeah I yeah. mean, cheers, I'll, I'll drink it. Cheers. I will. Yeah, cheers. Yeah, yeah, that shit out the way. though. Cheers, man. Right, cheers cheers to the pod, man. Cheers, yeah. everybody that's listening. That's Let's live. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like, you can't really taste it that much, uh-uh. you know what I'm saying? And it's kind of smooth, okay. but it has that, like, yeah. just the after. That's the, the thing, though. The crown. It's like, whoever's been making my shit has been making it hella strong and made me don't <laughs> like it. You know? Yeah, yeah. They kind of hooked you <laughs> up. They did this right. They this did is, it right. It's a nice mix, man. Shout out to Crown. Oh, well, I don't drink, drink and this right? is actually good. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I was what? quite impressed, too, when I first had it. So, I mean, I recommend this all the time now. Oh, it's good. Damn Always. good recommendation, bro. Oh, yeah. So let's get into it a little bit. We know a little bit about you guys. Met you guys up at the Sesh, I believe, a couple months back. Yeah, Good yeah. old OKC community. Yeah. But uh, since then, we've been keeping up with your stuff. Everything looks lit. So kind of intro- how would you introduce yourself for somebody who doesn't know you or your content? Who? The, 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 the smoke, smoke about, about it in general. The smoke about it. Who's yeah, really high yeah, C? Yeah, yeah, who's yeah. Stony Tuan? So I want the whole nine. Let's start, out with, let's start out with let's smoke about it. So let's smoke about it. Honestly, it just happened quick. It was a it was a yeah. place for our, our personalities to kind of grow into the community more. Yeah, we knew we wanted to be involved with the community. We just needed to get that plug right. So instead of finding and looking for the answers, we created a plug. We created our own plug. We we became our own plug of information. Right, created a platform. You know what I mean, where we could grow, but also our own again, voice too. yeah, create our own voice and. uh that's what we did. Season one went absolutely dope. Um, it helped us find our direction more. We kind of redirect, found a navigation into community deep, deep into the community. And it's a, uh, it's been awesome. So really it's become, I wouldn't say it's like a household name, but it's like a, it's going to be, it's on its way. Yeah. Hey, that's it's what I like to hear. Way. Yep. Oklahoma, yeah. we're trying to, for me, when I, when I came into this, um, it was more about, trying to figure out i don't know how i can really voice my voice 
in the best way, but also be in a collective voice, if that makes sense. Yeah. So, like, there's people out there that are trying to say right what we're talking about right now. Maybe, you know, there's people that want to broadcast certain opinions, you know, exactly. and this and that, but they don't have it. They think the same things we do, though. You know yeah. what I'm saying? They have the same thoughts. So, for me, it's really important to try to put out my thoughts and my opinions and uh, how I see the world and everything like that, because I know hopefully... Maybe it helps somebody one day. You know what I mean? That's exactly. Yeah. That's what I'm saying, man. Like, yeah. you'd be surprised, like, <laughs> what we all go through yeah. and there, how much, like, similarities we'll find between it. And I feel like that alone will just attract people that are in the same, you know, mindset or at the time at the time, whatever. Yeah, you're well, I mean, through, look, at, you, look at how this happened. I mean, I know. It was just, I saw you guys around. Right. Pe- peeped you well, at we the initially, sesh. what, was the sesh, right? Yeah. yeah. And okay. complete, I don't know who brought you there, who, who you know, who was your in or how'd you found out about it? Right. Um, but we were there through completely different people. Yeah, bro. Kind of linked for a second. I think we swapped socials and mm-hmm. then it, you notice that exactly what you're talking about. You notice, <laughs> oh, these guys are, they got a podcast and they, they speak very, very similarly to the way that we do. Right. And, you know, <laughs> you get a lot of comfort from that because you feel like, oh, dude, the same thing that we want with the podcast, you know, 30 episodes in or whatever. It's like you want to start to feel like they know you. Yeah. You know, facts. you want it to start to feel like a family and that kind of shit. And like community. Immediately, right? Yeah. Immediately you get that <laughs> sense of community from you guys, from your from your show and your content, really. Hell yeah, bro. Um, That's what's up. We appreciate that. Hell well, yeah. And you guys, you guys are dropping. So we're in between seasons right now. This will come out right before you guys the second season. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But you're yep. launching another podcast as well. Yeah, man. It's going to be a lot of work and a lot of fun. Um, me and Christian. Christian and I, we basically have been on a big rise, so to speak, uh, in, in terms media, of what marketing, content, content creation. Yeah, um, getting together as a team, though, as well, um, which is is rare in some forms. If you go into a job, like for me, I went into uh, this, uh, into this as a dispensary first, right? So I am a bud sender at a dispensary at first. You know, I'm walking around, I'm bud tending, I'm slinging bud, I'm doing this <laughs> and that. Yeah. You know, learning my way up in mm. this industry. Mm. And then along the way, I meet this dude. He comes into the game. You know, he's killing it on social media and everything. And he's like just doing it on his own. No one else is there really doing it. Yeah. So he's like, I'm going to just do it, you know, whatever. And I've seen that. And I'm like, that's cold, bro. I... I, I really like what you're doing with it, you know? And I started kind of, like, trying to learn from it because I'm seeing that there's movement and things happening from that. So let me just, you know, peep game. What's up? You know yeah, what I'm saying? Because yeah. I, didn't, I didn't mess with any social media at that time, bro. Like, I had a Facebook. You know what I mean? So I'm just, like, here and there looking at some, scrolling at some stuff. Yeah, yeah. Back out. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. But it took a whole new platform for me to be able to be like, all right, now I'm in IG, Twitter, you know, Snapchat, everything just TikTok. really going in. Yeah. Just yeah. really going in full force. And not only for myself, but for a whole entity, a dispensary that can actually benefit from it. So it's so the dispensary you work for. Right. So it's, there's a, there's a meaning behind it now. It's not just me being on some inflated ego shit. Yeah. You know, un- some, yeah. Unfortunately, you know I mean? that's what is a lot of like, you know, social media is, but exactly. no, but yeah. it's not That's why just I that, it. dude. I've like, learned you know. so much from just, you know, different types uh, of content. Exactly. Be- and the message people are pushing, like, Definitely. huge advocates of Gary V. I I don't know if you yeah. guys yeah. know yeah. Oh, Gary yeah. Vee. Yeah, of course. Yeah. So, like, oh, yeah. almost like everybody in our, like, generation yeah. has heard of Gary V. Yep. or has seen him once. Or 100%. On, it's because he resonates, least. bro. He speaks resonates. truth and it resonates no with our No bullshit, straight people, to it. You know what I mean? So, that's kind of like... Well, for me personally, like that got me into the content game yep. and really, you know, influenced me in a sense like, yeah, I do. I am my own person. I am an right. individual. I do have shit well, yeah, to say. It's that. And then like something that I think you like, were kind of you know, hinting on. That is, might make people laugh or just enjoy and just shit like that. Definitely, yeah. bro. Yeah. I think what you were kind of hitting on is like you're branding the dispensary, but you're also now learning that you're branding yourself. Yeah, on exactly. Top of that. Yeah. yeah. So that's, that's, what I think, that's what I think Christian does better than any of us sit at this yes, table with bro. the whole really high C. So like, yeah, really high when C. did, when did that? Cause I also heard, you know, high C media. I've seen walk me through kind of where all that started and like how that <laughs> came to be. And now you're branding yourself and not only yourself, but your friends, you know what I mean? Dude, it started with my dog. <laughs> Another room. high C. You just, <laughs> It started with my dog, and this was like, it was C is short for Christian, right? Okay. Um, I started filming shit because I was like, COVID happened. Um, I, I, I took a little bit of time off, and I found Peter McKinnon. 
badass YouTuber. That's who I was trying to Bill talk Martin. about uh, yesterday. Last week's can, After Hours. We were yeah. saying Jordan Peterson. Yeah. Yeah. That's insane. I was mixing up names. Phenomenal, yeah. man. Um, found him, learned a lot of camera shit. Okay. Started filming my dog. And somebody saw what I could do with that. I filmed one random video in an edible kitchen. The people didn't like that. Okay. They didn't want their, uh, there was a lot of shit that shouldn't have been going on in the video that they didn't uh, want okay. seen type of shit. Yeah, for sure. Video was dope though, right? <laughs> yeah. Video <laughs> was sick. Yeah. yeah. And that's when I was like, all right, I'm out of here. And then mm-hmm. I uh, got hired at Project Relief as a bud mm-hmm. tender. The people that were running social media were kind of, they weren't the best. You know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. Um, and you were so like, I, I started, do it better. Yeah, I started mm-hmm. doing it on my own, just like on. On it's my on own account. Instagram. Yeah. And then slowly, really high C started. Cause I was like, I want a cool brand name. Like, it just all made sense. It was always had this thing like seaweed, like s- the letter C weed. So oh, it kind of sure. yeah, stemmed yeah. from that. Like, but that it wasn't cool enough. You know what I mean? Suddenly everything clicked. I got a logo made. It was the same week I started at Project Relief, which was probably like a year and a half ago now. Oh, and uh, from that point on, it just blew, bro. People resonated with the logo because it had like a... You know, nostalgia, yeah. right? Yeah. Right, right. Um, so Everybody that goes, was a, remembers going boom. to McDonald's and that's getting a, a high C. That's yeah. a, you know, that's the check off yeah. the list. Then it's like quality content, check, right. you know? Oh, yeah. Consistency, check. Yeah, hella consistent. Um, what, now I got a plethora of talents, right? I draw. Um, I'm doing crypto shit. Yeah. I'm filming. I'm photographing. I'm, now, I'm never claiming to be the best in any of those. I'm just yeah, yeah. versatile. Just a jack of all trades. And that's what I'm saying. Like, you got to, go, like, try shit and see yeah. what you're good so, at. So you can... You and, can but you're good at all of those. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you can hire a team of, like, the best and pay hella. Or you yeah. can hire me and you'll save a little it. bit. And I'm going to still get the job done properly. You're yeah. Really yeah. Good. No at that. Cutting yeah. up corners. And you're going to be with somebody that's real. Right. Another thing that I really fuck with that you do is we've always tried to... Just because that's how we are. We're into the behind the scenes shit. We're into how to make shit. That's why yeah. we're sitting here creating in the first place. But we try to get the audience a behind the scenes look at stuff to where it feels like you're, you know, you're watching us make it rather than like hold the curtain until it's ready for a final yeah. product, yeah. you know. And you show your streams. I mean, dude, <coughs> I've learned so much from your streams. Like, yeah, there's a couple. Out. Is it under the same name? Yeah, it's, it's like yeah. pretty much Twitch. all universal now. Really, I see. Yeah, yeah, it's super um, easy to find. But like, <laughs> and I you just do your work the, while you're on stream. Is dude, so check this out. Too. That's what you stream. <laughs> check this out. Today I was uh, so I have a couple different ways of streaming. I can stream where I'm just drawing or I stream when I'm playing the game, right? Nice. Well, today I was, like, complex. I I was conflicted because I was, like, in the middle of, like, drawing, I was, like, fuck, I want to play the game. So in the middle of my stream, somebody comes over, you know, hangs out for a second, and I forgot about my stream. I put it on pause for a second, and then I got back to it, and I was, like, damn, now I want to play the game. So I stopped that stream, hop on a game stream, but I'm, like, hang on. I'm going to do both of those at the same time. So I'm playing the game and Damn. like, you know, Call of Duty and then it goes to the lobby and shit between games and whatever. I'm over here tweaking on my, you know, that's yeah. over here on my work. Yeah, so right. like legit, I'm doing both that's at the fire. same time. That's really but good. the only thing I should do is I'm going to, next time I do that, I'm going to add an extra window. That way you can see, because I have the window on the other one where you can see me drawing and you can see me, oh, you can see what I'm doing and you can see over me, right? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. But if I get it an extra window when I'm playing Call of Duty, now you can watch me play the game, draw, and you can watch me actually doing it. Yeah, you know exactly. I mean? I mean, that's the thing. Like, I was That's asking cool. my 15 year old cousins over Thanksgiving, how can I get the lighting? switch okay. to, uh, how can I get it on to stream? Because, yeah. like, I just learned from the homie I see how to do the iPad, but, like, I need to know for, because we're trying to do game nights with, like, Smash Bros and stuff. Yeah. But they were like, dude. And they just looked at me like I was this old man that didn't know electronics. Right. And they're like, yeah. how do you do what you do for a living? You don't know how to do this. I didn't know about streaming about, I'm saying, Twitch? a month it's, ago. Yeah. Damn, about a really? month ago. Uh, I didn't about a month and a half ago tops. I didn't know shit about it. The homie Jeff came it's over from high easy. voltage. Oh yeah. yeah. And he's really talented in this shit. Yeah, very talented. And he's like a real behind the scenes got a guy. He's not like the upfront face kind of person. He's just real. It's anxiety and different things. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So he's like, really like, he's like, I want to help you get set up on Twitch. He helped me. I didn't nice. know how to utilize it. And I'm still learning how to like, how I can utilize it best for really high seat. And that's the big thing is like, what makes you? You gotta unique. utilize everything, but utilize it to your best ability and to like what you for are. you. Yeah, you have to manipulate it for your use. Yeah, because Instagram, we all use it, but we all use it differently. Mm-hmm. Or we should be. Yeah. And if you're using it the same as everybody else, you're not. That's where you're fucking up. <laughs> that's yeah, that's where, that's where you're fucking up. Yeah. Everybody's is different. Like you go through, you pull up somebody else's account, look through it, totally different. You look 
do that one totally different. Yeah, yeah. you have similarities because you're following maybe certain things that are sure. similar. But their algorithms, like what pops up for them, is mm. super unique. Bro. Yeah, it is. Yeah. And it's just because like of what they're doing, interacting, and how they're making their moves on that shit. Like yeah. he's making shit. You know what I'm saying? There's a difference between people who are making shit and just consuming it. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and that's what I'm saying. And you want to be on the other side. Yeah, I was like, for me, I was on the consuming part for a long time. <laughs> yes, you know, just yes. like, yeah. Yes. We have weekly like, talks. Look, look, we oh. talk about it all the time. Are we, now that we're creating, are we consuming more than we create still? Right. Because that is uh. inspiration and it is, it is good. <laughs> right. But it's like, hang on now. What's my watch time today? Exactly. What, how many hours did I put on on my own content? Yeah, versus, that's what yep. I'm saying. Yeah. Same thing with uh, your job. You know, I'll eight be hours at a place. Are you spending eight hours on you? Outside yeah. of that place, true. You, you know have to. You better that's, be. That's some, that's You're a, losing if you ain't. That's a big thing I learned. Yeah, there's like, no. Oh, I don't feel you like. Know, it. There's a lot of people that work eight hour days and then they come home and chill and right? just watch Netflix, sit down, like, and do whatever, fuck. nothing to, for them. Now I'm gonna tell you like, straight up. I, me and me and everyone around me, you know, I'm not gonna call say any names. Who? I'll, <laughs> I'll see people like yeah. pull, fumbling through TikTok and shit, and I'm just like, I'll just be like looking at them. I'm like. Why aren't you making one? Why mm-hmm. don't you be somebody that they're fumbling through looking at instead exactly. of yeah. looking at somebody else? Like, yeah. that's what I'm like. I, I, I haven't figured out mean. TikTok. That's my weakness right now is TikTok. Okay. Right? Yeah. I just don't have time right now, but I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to get yeah. there. But because once I do, <laughs> the thing is, is once I, once I fucking dabble in something and slightly get it so figured out, I'm taking off. So what's your best platform off. then? Instagram. Instagram. Sure, yeah. He's a boss on Instagram, dude. Mm-hmm. I mean, you talk about consistency a lot. So, like, I think that's the one thing that, like, uh you were going to do like a workshop for creators and shit yeah. and they were like oh here point to the board what do you need that's the first thing that's, and that's what the I'm... easy pull for everybody to be like oh you're not consistent you're not, you know. yeah. and if they were consistent there'd be other problems to fix because it'd yeah. be other stuff yeah but you're i don't even know like how to put it other than like we talked about earlier branding yourself yeah. you've branded yourself in such a way that it's easy to be consistent because i see you you involve all the other content whereas somebody else might take a day or two off to go to a rally or do something else, or they might get into something else. You just take your content with you, you take your audience with you, yeah. and like that's dope. Yeah, hell yeah. yeah, yeah. There's content everywhere, man, and I'm so I'm so bad about it. I gotta I gotta remind myself that I don't have to make everything. Everything is content, but I don't have to make everything content. I'm so bad about. Yeah, bro, I'll I'll fucking sit down and make a real making fucking toast. You know what I mean? Like it's it's. <laughs> It's just in here, you know what I mean? It's genetic yeah, creation, at that point, dude. It's crazy. Creation, yeah. It's crazy Plus. how similar that, like, I am to that because I tell him a lot. I'm like, I call him with ideas. I'm like, should yeah. we do this? And he's I need like, to get a Best Buy tattoo so I can get some kind of <laughs> discount or some shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll tell you that much. He's always Jeez. told me, he's like, I mean, we can. And I'm like, I know we can, but, like, I'm, we got to ask ourselves, should we? You know what uh, I mean? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. You know, because you can get absorbed with that shit. Like, there are people out there streaming their lives away and, like, yeah. more power to them. But right. it's kind of like what you're doing on the stream. Like you yeah. said, you got to find the unique way. You're still figuring out how it works for you. Exactly. Not just do you what everybody else is out, doing. You also want to you know, yeah. like in, in a good way, though. Not where it's like, like I know, I know my weakness is. Asshole. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Right now, like, my weaknesses on <laughs> my Twitch is I don't talk enough. You know what I mean? I can't keep up with the stream chat yet. I'm, there's certain things I got a long way to go. You know what I mean? But the thing is, when I put my mind to it, I'm going to get that shit accomplished, dude. There's a lot of people yeah. that are like... <laughs> All right, I'm gonna do this much today, this much tomorrow. I'm like, fuck that. When I, I'm gonna procrastinate all week, and then I'm gonna hit it next week and learn it all in a day. Oh yeah, Damn. oh yeah. I mean, I can vouch yeah. for the man, bro, because like that's what I was meaning earlier about yeah. us, like being a team. Really because you, when you go into something and you're trying to look for like a team, you know, or even if you ain't looking for it, really, you're just like trying to find something in something that you're passionate about. And then you find somebody that's passionate about the same kind of things, and you can team up and really kill it together. Like, bro, it's just <laughs> oh, dude, it's rare. You know what yeah, I'm saying? It's it's rare. Rare. It's rare. That's what I'm and saying. Got to be on like <laughs> good and frequency. He really, uh, yes, and he really caught it. And it's like matching energies. Definitely, dude. Bro. He he got that's it because I remember when I did start, dude. Like, here you go. Yeah. Um, when when I did start, he uh, yeah, he, uh, he was he was lead bud tender. I started. I was just a regular bud tender, and I went up past. Yeah. And then I was like, started to wonder, like, well, first of all, how am I going to do all? Because it wasn't like I was above him. I was a side by him. You know what I mean? Like, it was a different realm. I wasn't in the dispensary at all, really. I was like over here, you know, mm-hmm. corporate type yeah, we shit. Yeah, we have like another side. So to it's the like, I wasn't, 
But I was always at bat because I came from Bud Tender. So anytime I heard some shit, I've been like, nah, you guys got it fucked up. You know what I mean? I'm over there yeah. defending these guys the whole time, still to this day. You know what I mean? But then I slowly fucking finally got his ass over there. But I'm teaching him everything. I mean, we got, dude, we got all kinds of gear. We've been learning all kinds of shit, dude. And anytime I can teach him something, I, we do. And then, like, the thing is, is that everyone has value, dude. You know what I mean? And, like, as much as Thanks. I can do, as much as I can do, my shit's like talent that I can create shit, but I need a personality, right? And I'm not the best, most personality motherfucker. I'm, I know this. This is my downfall. Everyone has a downfall. You know what I mean? Everybody yeah. has attributes. It's reality. So this motherfucker brings in personality. Kyle, he brings in personality. That's yeah. where they, you know what I mean? They hold their value and they they hold me down. You know what I mean? Yeah, dude. It's crazy yeah. how similar you're sounding. Cause like yeah. you guys met each other pretty recently though, right? Like about a year and a half. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. Year and so a half. Yeah, I was thinking about. We that. known each other. <laughs> since first or second grade first and like grade. we always talk about how first grade. we've had friends that like we were friends with them good friends and like we just uh, don't talk to them anymore yep. it, it, same. And it, it is like that bro. yeah and it is yeah. rare that you find that motherfucker that really fucks with you mm -hmm. and we yeah, were just talking about last crazy. week how when i came on and i was like okay i've always tried to get him to do something with me back when we were drawing comic books and selling them on the tree. I need you yeah, to come yeah. with me to go. I've got this game card. I'm going to tell this kid that it's got this beat video game on it. And like, mm -hmm. you know, and then like, yeah, bro. yeah. And so <laughs> anything that I needed, I know, yeah, I yeah, 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 yeah. Anything I, I needed to do, he was there. And then I yeah. come to him after he'd already started and then stopped doing his podcast. And I was like, oh, we should do a show though. Like right. low key. And same shit. I can't do it without you because I'm not the personality. I'll come, I'll do everything else. I'll edit it, show notes, whatever oh, yeah. the fuck you want me to do, I'll do it. Yeah. But what kind of show do you want to do? And yeah. he, I'm, I fucking prayed to God and like I'm so fucking you happy. No, nah, bro, I I got my energy right, and then I asked you, yeah. but Personal I came in. Yeah, I came in, and Why then like I'm just happy to, that he wasn't like, no, nah, bro, I'm not yeah. doing a podcast again because he could have very well could be like, yeah. that's what I'm saying, busy man and shit, graduating shit now, like. Bro. Yeah, yeah it's but crazy, bro. Yeah, that's crazy shit, bro. The world Fuck. works in mysterious ways, and then on top of that, timing and alignment is, like, almost everything now, you know? Yeah. Like, yeah, synchronicity. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. what the hell, bro? Yeah. Um, but it's crazy because, like, that, team, that teamwork and that, like, realization has created something to where we know we can almost create our own, like, representation of yeah. marketing media in that sense. Yeah, you know, where we're yeah. like, all right. We got a good grasp on it. I mean, for me personally, you know, I can speak with that, <laughs> but we're doing it to where, okay, like, let's start up another podcast, bro, for the dispensary yeah, to be able to basically get out our own media. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah, yeah, yeah. IG is very limiting, bro. Uh, Facebook, <laughs> very feds limiting. Are bitches, bro. Feds are bitches, bro. Feds are bitches, bro. You can bleep you know that out. Oh, no, nah, bro. We, nah, he nah. said, it's it. real. It's real. But, nah. but that's the thing. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. it's tough because, like, everybody... You see it all the time, canceled, canceled, mm -hmm. blocked, blocked, and like it's tough because oh, like hundreds of thousands of followers. You yeah, know, and, and what are they doing different than years, fucking bro. Nike? Like, what are right. they? Yeah, what, what are they doing different? What are you right. doing different? They're than promoting Rogan. their product, you know, and like uh, it's a fucking shame. And like, yep. I don't know, but on some good and it shit, it costs money, bro. It's our life. Yeah, that's that's the thing. I promise jobs. you, when I, when yeah. when I lost that Instagram that first time, when I was new, when I because. This was all new to me too, bro. <clears throat> you know, I'm it. I'm the I'm the like chief marketing officer yeah. or whatever, right? <laughs> but I got our Instagram deleted one day. Fuck. You know what I mean? And I promise you, they all looked at me like I was a fucking idiot, bro. But the reality is, there's nobody that knows what we're doing, right? Yeah. Everyone that's in my position, Antoine's position in this whole ordeal, we're all just like learning uphill. We're all like this. We're all tit for tat, trying to fucking learn yeah. more than the other person, but. Yeah. The rules are changing every day. You yeah, know what I mean? Man. We can't, we, you can't, you're just trust testing the waters each day is all you can do. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and mm. right now I'm one of the ones on top, you know, we're on top, you know, and that's just what it is. Like people looking at us from other dispensaries. Like, damn. You know, hey, there's people man. that wish project would fail just so that way they could get our team over there. You know what I mean? Legit, mm. you know, and yeah. cool, but it ain't happening. I mean, like it's dope to yeah. me. Like, when you sent me the design for 1130, I thought it was genius. I didn't know it was for a podcast. Though. Yeah, bro. And so, like, that's dope as fuck to me in itself because I'm like, what other dispensary has a podcast? I, uh, maybe they're around here. Okay, so, like, in Oklahoma. Yeah. So, yeah, I've never seen be the first one. one. Nice. Exactly. So, like, talk to me through, like, what are the goals with 1130? What's the what's I the I think it'd there? be, bro, first of all, I'm going to let him take the reign on this one. Yeah, bro. So, 
C came up with the name 1130 from combining 420 with 710. Yes, sir. 710. So, you know, if y'all are out there and you're like, why 1130? Why? That's why. All right? Mm -hmm. Stoner times. Second (laughs) of all, we wanted to give ourselves a platform to be able to talk about all these crazy deals, all these things that are, you know, our people, our managers, everybody that's getting these new products in for us to push out to y'all and tell y'all about, like, where do, where can we put this? There's X amount of platforms that we have to hit up when we get this information, right? Yeah. yeah. So let's do that. And then we do that, right? But the dissemination of the information can be broadened. Ooh, I like that. If... We take a hold of the reins with this podcast and say, hey, this is our free range. You know what I'm saying? We can ride around wherever we want mm-hmm. and do whatever we want. Set up a bunch of camps, have everybody, you know what I'm saying, in uh, you know, a metaphorical sense. But for real sense, you know, I can talk to you about this deal for four ninety nine on the gram. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, sure. Instead of being on Instagram and getting shut down for it. Oh, they talking about prices. Nope. Nope, shadow ban. Only fourteen people saw it instead of seventy people like you usually do, or you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's like, nah, bro. Nah, we need that like consistency with the range that we are supposed to have to be able to give the people the information that they need. You know what I mean? Mm, I and like that. Still it's be real about bro. it, you know? Yeah. Not, not be real, like fake like, and be like, oh, you know, hey guys, let's buy this brand. Let's buy this. Blah blah blah. Like, nah. You know what I'm saying? We're just telling you straight up about what's here, what's going on right now. You know what I'm saying? Regardless of if it's going to be, you know, your opinion, if, if it's the best or not, regardless of that, I'm just telling you about this thing that's going on. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah, I fuck with that. And uh, that's heavy. That's it's, fucking it's heavy, truth, you know? I mean, yeah. like, and that's the thing. I, it's good shit. For the first and only, you know, podcast in the area of that kind, like, right. you got to be eyes on you, you know what I mean? Like, about, everybody's mm-hmm. looking, so it's like, yeah. you know, come correct, and it seems We're like you fucking to, are. I also right. want to, I wanted to get in there and talk about like, you know, when like OMMA regulations change and shit, we actually have like a lot of dispensaries have just like everyone working on compliance, right? Mm-hmm. We actually have like a couple people that that's what they do is work on compliance. So it helps us stay a little bit ahead. Yeah. Okay. Cause like Definitely. we've been around since day one, dude. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we're pushing like pretty much like going four years basically. Cause not four years open, but. Since the beginning, curating the concept. Okay, yeah. So three years, realistically. Um, so OMMA, it's not that they've had a target out. It's just like if they're going to catch you slipping, they're going to catch you slipping, you know. So we, we keep that shit tight. And uh, I think that being able to like, being able to uh, spread the p- right information to other dispensaries even will be cool because who's to say like other dispensaries can't chime in on uh mm-hmm. our and podcast learn, you know and learn, you know what i'm saying that's what also is cool about it though too i feel like is we're going to be able to create a community not only for the dispensary but for everybody else that's involved i mean it can be dispensaries it can be like patients it can be anybody who wants to just be involved in the cannabis community cannabis community but i mean for me i know I'm going to be like, hey, let's get this right. Let's talk about real. Let's talk about community. Let's get everybody together on the same page. You know what I mean? Like, because I still want to bring in my real voice. I don't want to be like, oh, I'm just a dispensary on this show. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, nah, I'm me. Yeah, I'm no. Stony Twan. I'm so what are you guys going to be talking about? Um, Basically, it's just going to be like, <clears throat> if I uh, if we just decide to go 24 hours, right? We're going to be like, we're going to go 24 hours this weekend, you know, um, so you can come in, get whatever you need done overnight because we just changed our hours. We used to be 24 hours, but, you know, and uh, just disseminating that information, bro, really just trying to talk about like specials that are coming up, um, new products that are coming in, products that I've tried that I like, yeah, uh, just things that I smoke that I like. You know, what I'm we can saying? get the grow. We can get some of the growers in there and ch- chat. You know nice, what I mean? Yes. Yeah. But we got some of like the um, you know, some again, just like our podcast. Some of the other um, we want to get some of our bud tenders on there and get their, you know, get their personalities out there. We got yeah. a guy that does music. We got Tuan that does music. So we want to have a little music, music talk. You know, music all kinds of shit. Nice. Yeah, it's gonna be cool. Hell yeah! What kind of music you guys listen to? I see a lot of Mac around. I love that. Dude. 
Oh, I only listen to Mac. Yeah, he, 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 <laughs> he, he, yeah. he reps Mac, bro. Dude, you want to know some crazy genius, shit? Yeah. Some I'm crazy shit. I always listen to Mac. I loved him on like Kids and Blue Slide Park, like that kind of yeah. shit. I was in, I was with my ex. I was in Ohio, like in his hometown, woke up in a hotel room because we were there visiting her family. And fucking, that was the day that he passed. Yeah. And I sat there and they had the Blue Side Park Memorial like four blocks away from her house. Yeah. I'm wow. like sitting there like, dude, like it was the most intense shit. Like yeah. I was at work when Juice died, but like yeah. there was nothing in comparison. Like I was just like, you could feel it like in the city. Like it was yeah. some crazy shit. shit. Yeah. That sucks, bro. It's because it's, it's like, relatable, it's crazy. bro. It's crazy. Yeah. I see tweets every day and somebody's like, I'm still pissed Max dead. You know mm. what I mean? Yeah. It, if you are relatable in a way that people resonate with it, that yeah, deeply, it's, crazy. Mm. it's gonna be a hard hit when you leave this earth. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. Regardless oh. of if you what you do, you know what I mean. So fucking true. I if mean, you like, can be an artist, you can be a doctor, you can be whoever, whatever. If you really are resonating with people like that on a level like that, bro, it's gonna be a hard hit when yeah. you leave this earth. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Fact. Another one like that was Nipsey. Honestly, <laughs> Nipsey. I think yeah, I think yeah, I think Nipsey pissed. hurt just as bad as Mac. I think, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, yeah. bro. I mean. <laughs> I think I said this on our previous podcast, but like his music, I, it, it's cool. You know what I mean? Like I, 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 I fucks with it, you know, and it's a different caliber, you know what right. I'm saying? Everything yeah. like that. And the way he did it, that's what's up. You know what I'm saying? But I didn't really like resonate with his music like that. But yeah. what he did yeah, yeah, in yeah. his community, yeah, what he was yeah, how, exactly. he, how he was that's what uplifting I'm everybody, everything that's like that. That's what I fucked with, bro. That's what I resonated yeah. with. And then I was shook on some shit when that and then dr sebi and all that bro and i'm still yeah, like bro what the hell you know what i'm saying like nah 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 i ain't sleeping on that <laughs> i ain't sleeping Dude, on that it's true it's true because like i that documentary like is Man. it ever have we is it ever gonna come out right like because uh what's his name said he was gonna fund it jay-z, Jay-Z. remember i, I get i don't somebody want... said they was gonna fund it try to make it for him i mean it may, may have been fake news who knows but still though I want to see Bruh, whatever someone it needs was. to make that movie. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, <clears throat> it's crazy because to actually be able to cure people's cancer 100 percent remission, bro. Every single case, who you talking and about? Prove it in court. She's crazy, bro. Doctor Sebi. If yeah, Doctor Sebi. Yeah. If, yeah. If, if anybody is listening to that, this dude. and doesn't know about this man, please look him up. YouTube, yeah, Google, yeah, whatever yeah, you need to, because you're gonna learn some stuff. And especially yeah, if you into cool. hell. And they killed him. Man, he's they got him. Something happened to him, bro. <laughs> we don't know. We what, don't know. Yeah, but something happened to him. He not here no more. That's the same thing that and happened to Epstein, probably. Shit, shit, shit. <laughs> bro. That's the thing. Saman slowly, like our, it didn't go into it and purposefully do it, but slowly the season has been. Simon slowly but surely convincing me on all these conspiracy theories. <laughs> Man, and bro. We already had yeah. a conversation. Simon missed it because he was in class doing his exam, but we already sitting here five minutes got into a little bit. So what happened? I don't I don't even remember, but it's just you can tell that he's a conspiracy head, dude. Like, yeah, same. I don't know. Oh, yeah, don't spill just... your beans, but like <laughs> there are a few <laughs> out there that Simon's got where I'm like, you know yep. what? You might be onto something, and then a couple of them, I'm like, yeah. See, but know. what's crazy about conspiracy theories is like, who's to who's to decide? You know what I mean? Who who's to decide really where if it's real or it's not? Real or not, right? Because this is all just made up. It's in our all minds. bullshit, anyway. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. this is all reality is your perception of what you're seeing the world as right now. So, like, you can be crazy, bro, and just be like, the sky it's is a hologram, blah blah. blah you know, and then you believe hologram. it fully, bro. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. And no one can <laughs> tell you different. <laughs> you know it's what I'm saying? Like, the craziest shit is I told someone the other day. I was like, "What if we just see colors differently and we just think that blue is blue?" Right. But you're seeing a different. Hey, blue. so you're talking about the Matrix? I just recently watched it again. The first one. The first one. So the 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 dude that was talking about, um, he okay. So he asked Neo. He said, "How did the the creators of the Matrix? So the the robots, the Sentinels, the AI. How did they create what chicken tastes like?" How did they know what chicken lace tastes like to humans? How did, how did they know they didn't mm. get it wrong? Maybe they got chicken wrong. Maybe that's why everything tastes like chicken. You know what I'm saying? He's just going off, but it's oh, the basis shit. of what the question everything is, man? is that <laughs> how does a sentient AI know what a person tastes when it tastes? Yeah, It's not a human. How does it know? You know, it, it needs to go into our neurological synapses and see all the things. Down that, but it's, you know, <laughs> it doesn't have that human 
Uh, chicken terps. Yeah. Human um, chicken terps. essence to where it yeah. can actually know what it tastes like. So it's like if you are making the Matrix, how do you know that you made that program right to make it taste like this right? You know what I'm saying? Maybe yeah. it actually is this. So the same thing with the colors. Maybe we're actually seeing colors different because yeah. programs are wrong and this and that. You know, yeah. it's, it's yeah. all, you know, this and that. But yeah. still, bro, it was just very <laughs> interesting because if it is the Matrix and if there is a simulation theory going on and there is things that are creating this for us to be in it, like how do we know that they're getting it right for us to experience it right? Maybe they're getting it wrong. Yeah. Bro, I'm gonna catch up on the <laughs> Matrix, and we'll go to the new one when it comes. Oh, out. it's going. Yeah, down, I wanna watch the new one. Max. It's going oh. down. I'm getting a group. I'm gonna yeah. take over that whole like movie a, theater. <laughs> I'm gonna have a whole mob of everybody <laughs> yeah, watching that bitch. Watch. Yeah, for real though. Props <laughs> to going to the movie theater. I try to tell people if they don't want to, you can right. catch it. But like, it's one of the things. Like, as an avid movie like goer, that's the shit that started all the creation for me. I just want to get access to like see the movie early Man. So I just, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. I'll review it just so <laughs> yeah. I could like see it a couple days early yeah. but like I don't know dude like theaters kind of died for a little bit yeah, and yeah. like people they are did. like telling me like yeah Ghostbusters was my first movie in like a year and I'm like damn yep damn low key yeah. I haven't streaming, been to bro. one yet it's streaming it's the streaming bro so you haven't been to one which one I haven't, so you, I, I would I you go for Matrix 4 yeah, yeah, for my yeah. first one, yeah, yeah. 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 fuck yeah. yeah, yeah. I haven't been to a movie since pandemic. It's because they're not. Uh, I think personally, I think it's because they're just regurgitating a bunch of stuff that's been. You know what I'm saying? They aren't really creating anything new, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. There, there isn't Sad for me. There hasn't shit. been anything new that has caught me and been like, "Damn, I want to go see that." Yeah. What? That looks cool. You know what I'm saying? Well, a lot of times, the only reason I watch movies is I'll be trying to get them figure out how the fuck they're filming that shit. Mm. I like to do. Mm. That. I, I like, like to try and figure as that out. experiences. Yeah. See, that's the thing. My film teacher in, like, seventh grade told me, like, you're never going to be able to watch movies after you, regular yeah. after that. Yeah. And, like, that's what you just said, basically. It's like, you try to figure out how they film it. I'm sitting I'll be like, the whole damn. Time. Their Bro. angles are cool. Like, fucking. Uh, that's how I've been watching them lately, you, too. You after starting attention. diving yeah, into content creation and Yo. just, like, all that, I've been looking at, I'm like, damn, this He's shaking a little bit, you know. You know, they broke one of the oh, fucking shit. like it was at the time, it was it's like funny. one of the six IMAX cameras in the world, it's crazy. like at all. Yeah. And they broke it on Dark Knight filming it. Oh, yeah. wow. And like, I always still wonder, like, what scene is it? Like, yeah. is it the scene where Joker's like hanging out the car? Where like, he blew it up, blew yeah, up the hospital I'm or like, something? Like, what scene <laughs> did they break it at? Because I just oh, I yeah. have to know. Yeah. One day, somebody will tell me. <laughs> Man, he yeah, that he killed cool, that movie bro. though. Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. What are some of you guys' favorite movies in general? The Titanic. Titanic. Oh, that's, that's, that's a great that's my answer. number one favorite movie. And nobody ever believes me when I say they always think I'm joking because I'm that motherfucker that be joking about shit a lot. But I mean, that's shit. Down. Yeah. I have not. But like, sat down to watch it. That. it's because I went to when I went to when I, when I started college. I went to um, I was in the University of Alaska Anchorage. I didn't go to college long. I only finished one year, but. Um, it was graphic yeah. design and photography and shit like that. Oh, shit. And we had this we had this uh, exam where we had to watch the Titanic backwards kind of thing Damn. in fast motion. Oh. And then we had to figure out how we would survive that shit Damn. using the stuff we had if we were in certain spots on the boat. And, like, no one really survived. It doesn't matter who was going to survive the longest with your ideas, of like rolling yourself in lard and covering yourself in feathers from a pillow so that way huh. you can absorb heat longer and it's like weird shit like that hmm. <laughs> using barrels to flow I mean, shit dude that's creative as fuck i would have failed the class but <laughs> <laughs> shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah more classes like that's that please well, i started yeah, learning shit. about uh Make us i started fake. learning about that um yeah. 100%. How, that, how they filmed yeah, it and how they used a pool and shit i was like damn bro that's dope and that was when yeah. it first all realized i first really realized that like there's so many tricks to how they do shit. Oh, uh, yeah. And mm-hmm. so it just, like, it got in more and more and more. So that was just, like, that opening movie for me. That was, like, damn. Movie magic. I can't, I, can't yeah. say, I can't say if I have one picked out, bro. But I really like, um, man, like, the one that stuck to me and really seared to me is The Matrix for me, bro. And I watch all of them, like, back to back. I dropped that. Acid yeah, hit, bro, so and fire. I just watch all all four of them. So there's the a- the Matrix all the way through to the Revelations, and then there's the an Animatrix. And if you like anime, 
You need to watch that. Mm. It's oh, no, crazy, it. Where can bro. you find it? Where is that on? Because um, I'm into it, but like I've never even heard of that, dude. Bro, it's so good. But the it, Matrix it blows one, your mind. Might be worth to watch. It's blows your. It it basic it basically breaks open the Matrix of anime. Mm. So like, it goes into the reality of anime and like Damn. from the re the human like mm. art how. We transfer art into the medium of the real world is through the source. The source the is source. the connection of everything, every, anything, what people call God, whatever, etc. Right? Uh, I call it the source because I don't know what the fuck it is, but I do know that it's there. Everyone's connected to it in some type of way. We all emanate it. We're all powerful in that sense, and we all have it. You know, we just are like sleeping on it, or it's yeah, hidden, or un- not, right. it's not unlocked yet. Whatever the case, maybe we need to go through certain life cycles to get there. Um, anyways, this shit right here blew my mind open, t- like, tremendously, bro, because I fuck with anime, but whenever I watched that, I fucked with it harder after that, because Hell it just yeah. really yeah. made me, like, appreciate it more, bro. You know what I mean? Like, it really makes you appreciate art and how people yeah, take dude, that, that actually, source no, it and transfer it into source. a medium and yeah. create something like that. You know what I mean? Fuck Crazy, yeah. bro. Oh, yeah. My, uh, or would you consider it higher self, though? Well, yeah. I mean, in a sense, you definitely are. Me, I think, from a s- certain standpoint of experience, that we are that ev- we are the source just in an evolved state, like, later on. You know, maybe our energy is evolved, and we have became our higher selves constantly, and now we're in that But realm. some people don't reach it, though? No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying it takes them longer. Yeah, you know? yeah maybe it takes, it takes them longer. Them however long because some people are indigo children you know so where they're already like already there they have the extra chromosome and everything yeah indigo yeah indigo children yeah you need to look that up bro yeah Yeah, it's really cool Uh, very interesting what's happening here um (laughs) i knew it would (laughs) star star seed children basically it's just like star seed um yeah i heard about that they have like it, it, it it's basically like they're there's higher, they're higher frequency. Oh, uh, okay. You know, like they're just naturally, naturally gravitated towards Crazy. those realms and that energy and everything in the metaphysical realms of like higher consciousness. Mm. And it's crazy what like people have uh, documented from this, and yeah. it comes from Egyptian times. It's not just like oh, modern. We made this up, like mm-hmm. Egyptian times, bro. Yeah, crazy. It's just cool that we're all. It's it's really interesting how open everybody's coming to it. I mean, it's out there, bro. It's coming out there. Yep. I mean, like my girlfriend's into all this shit, bro. You know what I mean? Like you know it. But right. She's, well, yeah. and it's just like, and some people think it's and a it's gimmick or a bite or something. Some people think it's just like, oh, y'all don't know what y'all are talking about this, etc. It's like I don't know what I'm talking about. I know, oh, I know no, we what don't. I'm we talking we about, we but I'm not gonna I have a strong belief though. Right, and I'm not gonna sit here and say though that. You're wrong from what you're talking about. Yeah, I don't. So why fuck. should you, yeah, you know, yeah, say like some? You I'm wrong about what I'm it. talking about. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just yeah. put it out there and try to figure it out. Yeah, together. help people though. <laughs> but American Gangster is my other favorite. Ooh, I love that one. Yeah, that one's <laughs> good. You got a good ass mural in Dallas with fucking American Gangster, and I was like, <laughs> I fuck with whoever painted I'm watching that. Watching that shit too much, bro. Yeah, <laughs> there's a couple of them I watch a lot, but that's one of my favorites. <laughs> What about y'all? y'all I'm trying favorite? to think of like yeah, anything that's, like that's come out recently that I could recommend. King Richard was really good hmm. if you fuck with. So it's the tennis story of Serena and Venus Williams. Okay, and yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's more about the father though, Will Smith though, and he's he kills that shit. Like it's a good ass movie. It just about parenting uh-huh. like shit. Like nothing really else <laughs> about it, but he's a hard ass motherfucker, and right. like. That shit was good. Like, it'll be around Oscar season and shit like that. Hell yeah. But there's so much coming out, like, nowadays. Like, <laughs> I just bought tickets for Spider-Man um, earlier today. Hell Booked yeah. out for, like, three days. You can only get, like, one seat in each theater. What's, what's the mm-hmm. new Spider-Man? That's what it's like, um, man. I've lost. That's why much. a lot of people don't go to movie theaters now, too. The new Spider-Man will be the third Tom Holland Spider-Man. Yeah. So him and the Marvel shit. With that Marvel character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, it's going to be crazy. I've seen that, actually. The commercial for it. They're bringing back Holy the OGs, shit. bro. Yeah. They're bringing back the like, OGs. I was like, whoa, y'all are going What's up? in. Who's in that one? Um, Tom Holland. Yeah. We got... It's him mixed with like all the <laughs> MCU characters, but then you got... Who else is coming in? We got... 
I'm Doc sure. Ock. Yeah, Doc Ock, the yeah. original one. Yeah. He's coming back. You got yeah. Electro yeah. from him. the Amazing. And then he's Damn. like, you're not the real Spider-Man. And he's like, what are you talking about? Yeah. It's on some crazy yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah. And oh, you got the okay. Electro. Yeah, I didn't watch it. You got Amazing Spider-Man, the Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield enemies in that bitch. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm pretty sure they're in it too, Tobey and Andrew, but like the other Spider-Man, but... I don't know. They're holding out. What Ready I'll say about you. that that Superman whole all, all of the Marvel and all that, bro, is their like planning is amazing to me. Yeah, that is yeah, crazy. The, like, like, you can literally sit there and be like, cool. okay, we made this movie, but wait, we need to make all these movies and make sure that this movie 10, 12 years down the line is like cohesive with this one. Yeah, and pays off. Man, so like the like Fast the, and the Furious did that shit, and I but thought they that they did it like copy paste, copy paste yeah, type yeah. shit. Th- this yeah. one is like, oh, the the multiverse, yeah, like literally what, like different realities of the same saying. reality, uh, is blending with this one, and this one has to coincide with this one. But this character I, knows I here, I fuck that with it, it, but crazy, bro. But I don't know. you miss like, don't you miss just like being able to watch like a whole movie, even no, if it was no. three hours? <laughs> no, don't get me wrong, like, mm-hmm. start don't to get finish. Me wrong. <laughs> I fuck with most movies that are like that. Like, yeah. I don't really dive into like all the Player complex. One on Let me have to show. watch all these that in movie order movie. and make sure that this is the right one that I'm watching because yeah, I'm yeah, missing yeah. out parts in this. Like, fuck, bro. I don't want to do that. I just want people <laughs> to enjoy my movie type yeah. show. Yeah. But I think it's very interesting and very crazy, like, that they can plan something like that. And it makes me wonder, if they can do that with movies, what are they doing with our reality, bro, with our real lives? That's Ooh. Right. Ooh. That's tough. That's insane. That is tough. And they have power, bro. They they have power in that. What I was just talking to you earlier about how they make beehives sh- like rattle and sh- jar them up, crazy sounds, and then put that splice that into movies, Damn. horror movies and shit like that. So you yeah. get on your seat, anxious, and just like, oh shit, you know. That's how they increase. Uh, the, they invoke that, uh, elicit that response. You know what I'm saying? From a person, they they put different things. Yeah, that's crazy. Subliminal and in the shit. music shit too. Music shit too. This yeah. man's vocabulary right here. He I love this. It, I was like, hell <laughs> yeah. He said some shit earlier <laughs> that I said. Um, you want to do some questions of the week? Questions of the week. Some. Yeah. Um, so we got some stoner questions from the Sour Society this week. Hey, let's go. Uh, got to ask the Let's Smoke About It crew, what's your preferred way to smoke? Man. What's the best way to smoke in general? Yeah, what is it? I've Me? seen some crazy toys over there, though. Like <laughs> my boy got a shit. stunning glass, bro. That shit is crazy. Have you Jesus. smoked out of one yet? No. Man, uh, oh, my God. It's so so crazy, bro. You take it. You flip it around. Use the force of gravity to push smoke in your face. Yeah. And you just yeah, sit I've there and smoke those. it. Nah, honestly, bro, uh, my favorite <laughs> is probably papers. Just papers. rolling up a joint and smoking sure. it. Because I like flavor. <laughs> I like... Um, my bud being natural flavor, you know, I want to taste what the bud is. And then maybe I might roll up a blunt after that. Over, you know, if I got a, you know, quarter, whatever, whole thing, you know. Yeah. yeah. But um, first off, when I get a pack or I get a new flavor or anything, I'm always tasting it in a uh, paper. Or like a bowl that I just clean. you know. It's got to be like clean. Fresh bowl. Yeah. Clean glass, guys. Mm-hmm. Clean, ga- clean glass. Yeah. What about you? See? Mine, uh, definitely a fucking... Last, bro, I like I like hash rosin, and not it, and it doesn't even always have to be hash rosin. There's some like BHO that I like, like boson and stuff. I just like super terpy shit for sure. Terpy shit, like that terpy shit. I wish I could. Tangy yeah, tangy <laughs> no, but I mean, like, look at it. He's yeah. got all the glass there. And none of it's dirty. Yeah, I was none looking at dirty. it. Oh, that motherfucker right there is old. But I gotta get. Uh, yeah, it's a whole thing. Oh no, yes, yeah, right. Know. Simone, have you changed your preferred sure. way to smoke since last time? No, not really. I've just been mainly smoking papers as well. Nice, yeah. yeah. For sure. Yeah. It's definitely a good way to get that flavor, man. Flavor, as bro. You were saying. I, and, it and in blunts, though, like, I don't like smoking blunts all the time. Right. You know what I'm saying? Harsh, exactly. Yeah. The ones that I, like, I on only road, smoke backwoods, He dog. always be smoking. <laughs> yeah. I only smoke backwoods, cuz. Like, bro, I, Not backwoods. I get you, bro. Like, like, but, like, damn. Bro. Like, you, you roasting your shit, bro. Yeah. Like, you ain't gonna taste nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, you just, you're just smoking. That's what you're doing. I feel you. I feel you. I get it. But look, me, I'm smoking and I'm tasting. I'm yeah. flavoring up. You know what I'm saying? Like... Yo. Me personally, bro. And I've then been, yeah. I smoke a backwood. You know what I'm saying? I'll smoke Damn. some down, whatever, every now and then. But I'm not only smoking them. Yeah, I smoke yeah, yeah only. Bro. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. I also don't smoke trash. Like, I don't smoke those trash papers. Like, uh. I got this free pack of papers recently, bro. I rolled it up. It, it was black, bro. Like, it was just... Bu- and I know the bud was good because I smoked black. it 
beforehand, yeah. and it was White Ash. You feel me? And even if White Ash isn't a serious, like, oh, I can tell it's good blood from that, most of the time I can tell because it's smooth. Anyways, um, yeah, the, like, outside of it was, like, black. And I was like, oh, no, 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 no. And it was tasting weird, bro. I was like, no, 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 no. I just unrolled it, you know, boom, boom, boom. Yep. Fix that bitch, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm not fucking yeah. with the whack ass paper. Because it was, I'm, I'm sure it was bleached. I'm yeah. sure it had like you know all this other shit. And that's the thing, bro. I'm not trying to smoke my shit in some whack ass papers. I want some real, authentic hemp, you know, yeah. gum line that's not like. And I, it's crazy too because it sucks. The way that hemp is processed and being made right now is not uh, sustainable. You know, in the sense where they're they're not doing it sustainably is what I mean. Mm -hmm. um, it's the same way that like most farming has been doing being done right now. Yeah, uh, if you pay attention to it, I believe. And so, I'm just like, I want there to be better ways for people to be able to do that shit. You know what I mean? For sure, for sure. Uh, next question up: What are the best and worst parts about dispensaries? Yeah, Working at, I guess you know. Dude, I, mean? I got the worst Man. one. I got the worst one. Is the worst one is probably that dispensaries don't want to work together more, man. There's like the stigma Hell of that, competition. Yeah. The, yeah, it's like you can't fucking like why you see all these people like okay when when you see an event and it's like hella vendors there, you know, yeah. you got apothecary, uh -huh. bare essentials, fucking swerve, mm. fucking mm. Zen extract, all these people, sure. right? But you ain't got motherfucking, you know, it ain't project relief, high voltage, mosaic. You know what I mean? It ain't that. Why is that? You know what I mean? Why can't we figure that out? You know what well, I mean? It, I mean, they have a platform in a sense, like their own stasis or their place for people to go to, you know? And I think that's what's good about pop-ups is like for those vendors or those brands that don't have yeah. that place for patients to go to for them. But I think for me, like with that, I mean, for sure, it's more about the factor of maybe not having the right people in it, you know, mm -hmm. just, just not having the right people in the industry to really boost it in the way it needs to be done. Because there are a lot of dispensaries out there and a lot of <coughs> people out there that are from out of state, from different types of groups of people that are, have different types of monies for certain reasons. And they're not good. You know what I'm saying? They're spraying all kinds of chemicals on these things. You know what I'm saying? And I know. That's trying to get dope. it through to patients. And then the dispensaries is like, yeah, we selling it cheap, cheap. We got it on the low, low. Everything's <laughs> blowout sale. You know what I'm saying? You can get 28 grand for $28 of wax and blah, yeah. blah, blah. And oh, yeah. It's like, okay, cool. But guess what? What are you doing? <coughs> you're just fucking everything up. You know what I'm saying? And not only that, you're fucking everybody up with it because you don't care about us. You care yeah. about your money, right? That's cool. But guess what? I care about us. I care about me. I care about my people. I care about community. community. I care about the people that's around here actually going to fucking do something about something that's not actually worth a fuck. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, bro? To yeah. be honest, I'm sorry to be blunt like that, but it is what it is. I mean, that's what we're here for. That's, what that's, here. that's the we're thing. I mean, like, I think the worst part to me about dispensaries, keep in mind that I do live out of state. I think that they're branded. like So, like, right. you, you get all the good parts and mm -hmm. all the bad yeah, parts that come with a mm -hmm. brand. And, like, you can be supreme and you can be, you know, whatever. But it's, like, at the end of the day, it's supreme different than a better shirt. Like, right. you know, whatever. Like, <laughs> right. Is it? Mm -hmm. Like, is it? I like Pair of Thieves, shit. But, like, who, who's to say? You know, you got to pick through whatever. You got to see through the bullshit. And right. with a brand comes the plays and the bullshit and the competitive yeah. nature. But I think that that's also the plus, though, because it breeds competitiveness. And, like, yeah, and you're it captures people out. to get the best fucking influencers and shit to be on their team because they got the best True. butt, like, all that yeah, shit. Yeah, exactly. Like, it's just... I think give it a couple more years, it'll sort itself out. Like it is. Most, it is. But I, I agree with that 100. And it's just, like, if Rec hits though right now in Oklahoma, it's going to change all that to where it really won't happen like that on that rate. You know, it'll be all different. And oh, everything's yeah. going to change. So I'm like, maybe we wait a couple years for Rec. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> if, uh, if you could smoke with anyone dead or alive, who would it be? Man. That's a good one. That's yeah. fucked. Mine's easy. Mine's Mac. Yeah. But no shame, no game. Yeah. Might have just stole mine, but I'll come up with one. Hey. <laughs> Damn. I feel it. We'll find one. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot I would choose from. But damn. There is. That's the thing. I'm trying to downward. narrow it down. Hmm. That's a good one. There's a lot of people that are like, I don't know. 
I feel like they would. Oh, I bro. feel like ooh, if if I could, if he would smoke, if he would smoke with me, I I smoke with Nikola Tesla. Damn. Damn. Yeah, I was gonna yeah, say bro. honestly, that'd that be my dude right there. Yo. He he. He made this possible. He yeah. made that possible. He that made shit. like yeah. those possible. <laughs> all, all this shit, dog. Shit. Uncredited as fuck. Yeah. And he was talking about numbers and all this shit, bro. He was on some unlocking the matrix type shit. And I'm like, yeah. yo, what's yeah. up, bro? What, uh, talk to me. G- bro. Gary V would be a good one too, right? Yeah, yeah Gary V yeah, sitting yeah, down. Yeah, I feel like he would just bro, explain I shit for an hour. Smoke a sativa with that motherfucker. Oh, <laughs> nah, he wouldn't though. <laughs> shit. I'd be like, all right, he bro. He would. Yeah. That motherfucker could help you with your TikTok influence shit. Like, um, this is what you gotta do. If I had to pick somebody, it'd be Alan Watts, low key. Nice, Alan Watts. Yeah. good job, bro. He, he See, I was thinking about him, yeah. Terrence McKenna at first. I was yeah. like, fuck. Yeah, I fucked with him. I didn't know when I started listening to him. I didn't know he's dead. Like I fucked up. Yeah, bro, I thought it was current. That those people, they, the, what crazy. they say resonates so long. Like it, yeah. it's gonna transcend time, bro. You know, you yeah. can listen to it twenty years from now and still be think he's alive. You know what I mean? Crazy shit. Crazy, crazy shit. What about you? Damn. I don't know, really. I mean, you had all this time. That's a good one, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, that is a good one. Um, I'd probably say Nip, man. Nice. Yeah. All right. yeah, you'd that'd, have be, to, that'd be dope. You'd have to get some info for that doc, though. Oh, you know me. Yeah, <laughs> just, just tell me the right uh, direction. Right. Right. Uh-huh. Okay, uh, let's see. How's your community in OKC changed since they've legalized medical? Mm. Uh, for me personally, I can go off bat. Uh, everybody's getting all snobby and cloudy. <laughs> okay, I feel that. Like they, 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 yeah. they think that they it. You know what I'm saying? Like it's, you know, I'm, I'm you know, next. Like me, you know what I'm yep. saying? Everything like, like that. Like the dispensary. There's just been yeah, a lot of money of making it. it. There's a lot of money in it. You know what I mean? And people take money equals power, not money equals success. And success and power are two different things. Yeah. And it's just it's gotten so bad bro. like no one's about community anymore for me because i got into it for a minute bro so don't get me wrong i got bad about it i was like where i was like oh yeah i'm spending my check on i'm getting this i'm getting that you know what i mean and i was like wait what the fuck because then i hang around people like antoine or my homeboy big head boro and i'm like yeah you guys are the right way like i don't need all that shit dude but now that i have shit i'll be using it for like the good of the community you know what i mean if i'm gonna have this badass computer i'm gonna do graphics and you know like, I do shit for hella cheap, and for sometimes I just barter shit. Sometimes I'll bust out something for free, you know what I mean? It just yeah. depends. So, it's not like, not everything's for fucking profit, you know what I mean? And and even when it's not, it is, you know, at the end of the day. Because it's like, bro, if I can do some little shit to help your business get a little better and get a little better and get a little better, eventually you're going to be able to hire more people. Now I'm helping you add jobs to the economy, shit like that, you know what I mean? It's just different, bro. So... It's one of those things where it's just a matter of keeping your head focused, you know? Yeah, what's well, your focus when you're... And people so around... Yeah. A lot of people are losing their focus, yeah. for sure. And that's yeah, why I don't that's want... That's why I don't yeah. want REC to go yet, either, because the second REC goes, it's like a lot of the patients are going to be forgot about. The patient focus will be well, zeroed. That's my thing, When though. it gets recreation. Yeah. I think that, like... When do you think that's going to get... People are push, pushing for the ticket right now, bro. Yeah. It's already getting up on the ballot. Shrooms are about to be on the ballot. For hey. real? Please do so. Come on, let's go. Let's Damn. go. I'm already on it, bro. Let's I go. go. <laughs> um, so, yeah, like, speaking from the outside, I think that it's crazy because I do completely hear what you guys are saying. And, like, For real? I didn't think about it that way, but I understand, like, that that's how, how you, it is. How have you seen it so far? And you're from Dallas? Yeah, and okay. so, like, he moved here freshman nice. year. And so, like, I started coming here. And that was before it was league on, like, you know, we do what we did. Right. And <laughs> we, I mean, at that point, like, it was always known, like, okay. Because it was, like, a felony at the yeah, time. Yeah, bro. Like, like, what like, the fuck? It was bro. always known. It was like, bad. Like, heroin. I was in prison Same for this heroin. shit. Yeah. Still is Hold, federally. Oh, like, oh, yeah. You got to speak on that then, yeah. I was in prison. So before I was doing all this shit, yeah. I was in prison from, like, 2000. Shit, I got out in 2019, I think, 2018. Mm. And I did three and a half years on a five-year, I mean, ten-year <sighs> sentence, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Five in, five out, so I'm yeah. still finishing up time, technically. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. yeah, for trafficking and shit. And that was right before it went legal, and you know, so. Yeah, so. I, I mean, got like, a whole ass FBI number and some more shit, dude, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. This shit. But, again, like, I didn't know anything that I know now before I went in there. But I yeah. didn't, you know, time wasted isn't 
you can't consider it time wasted if you're learning. You know what I mean? So you can sit down in there and even learn some shit. I tattooed while I was in there. I still artist through and through, bro. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Figure some shit out. I, I, I didn't have the worst time in prison because I was nonstop learning some shit. I was getting over on guards in certain ways. You know what I mean? I had a phone in there. I had I had clothes from the outside. Yeah. You know what I mean? I was hustling in there. Yeah, you know what I mean? It's all shit. about your perception, bro. How you yeah. want yeah, to how be you in this world, that you know? Shit. Like, so I came out and I was strong. I had nothing, bro. I saw my mom one time that whole time. You know what I mean? She lives in Alaska. Yeah. You know, yeah. so Alaska. she came down to see me and she saw to see me in all orange and shit. And that's, you know, that's, yeah. it's fucked up. It's yeah. fucked but up. but um, I got out of that, got a job in the kitchen, like climb fast and fine dining did plating and shit oh yeah all kinds of shit bro i was a dishwasher you know what i mean yeah same shit and then like i was like dude yeah. you gotta he saw how fast i was working he's like bro we gotta get you in the kitchen yep. got in the kitchen i skipped straight through the whole line and went straight to plating because i was like are you just busting shit i was learning shit all the time yep. mm-hmm. if i'm in something i'm learning something that's why another big thing i have issues with people in this industry is lack of initiative man mm-hmm. i got this job when i started as a butt tender, i didn't know shit but I convinced them all I did. And as soon as they were like, all right, you're starting tomorrow. I went home and got my ass on YouTube like a motherfucker, dude. Yo, yo. And I learned yeah. enough to get by. And since then, I learned even more and more and more. And now I don't have to fucking get over. You know what I mean? I'm here. I fuck with it. Alaska, is that where you're from? Yeah. Hell yeah. Nice. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, bro. Nuts. That's crazy. Like, uh, how'd you end up here, bro? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, like that journey, you know what I'm saying? It's, just yeah, it's crazy because now I see shows like... Fucking 30 or 60 days in and shit. Yeah. And I'm like, damn, I wonder if anybody thought I was something like that. You know, but that was, that <laughs> just came after my time. I'm like, yeah. Yeah, I wonder. Cause, you know, I was just like, I didn't even have tattoos, bro. And, you know, all my, all my shit's prison tattoos, bro. All yeah. my shit. Damn. So it's like, I man. fuck with it, though. It looks yeah. good. I don't know. Can't I think the people in 60 days in, like, but they come across a little <laughs> bit more. No, yeah, yeah. But, yeah. I mean, if you would have seen me when I first is the, it's just, like, it's crazy, bro. Because, oh, I mean, yeah. even these, all that shit. Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. Uh, that's crazy let's see. Bro. Let's see, let's see. Those are good answers. Oh, but what I was going to say is from the outside, it's just uh, beating creators. Like, I wouldn't find dope people doing dope things. Like, I do see Definitely a lot of the nice. opportunities. Because yeah. yeah. the ones that take off, that's the only thing that we see from the outside. So, it's, right. like, the events that are good, we've both been to bad events. Like, yeah. The ones that end up being good and staying good, like I don't know. You need a shout out to the uh to the throwdown bazaar. Uh, yeah. there's, there's, there. there's nothing wrong with getting clout or with getting up there and it and yeah. being out there and actually reaching people and all this, right? The thing that I'm talking about though is maintaining the backing behind it, knowing where you came from. If you came from all rich and everything's you know, you never had poverty and all that. Like, cool. Guess what? I ain't really going to fuck with your corporation and whatever you are. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be harder for go, you to get back because you're not used to it. I'm going to go yeah, with yeah, people yeah. that's more like, you know, they earned their clout. You know what I'm saying? They built their clout from branding themselves in that and they maintained themselves like that, how he has in a yeah. sense. You know what I'm saying? And like, it's not even clout. It's just like people want to generate, like they just fucking, they want to be around you. You know yeah. what I mean? You got this. Vibe, but like, it's also just like that I mean, resonance like aura. in that yeah. place, you know, like you have yeah. like that dominance, you know, where it's just like people know you for this certain yeah. amount of times, you know, and that's that's where it comes from. And it's not really it. I say clout whenever somebody's like, look at me, look at oh, me, yeah. you know, like I need your attention. I need you, you know, this yeah. and that. But um, if you're doing those things for a right reason behind it, I don't yeah, call it clout. Yeah, I call yeah. it purpose. purpose. Yeah. Yes, sir. And there so that go. in the sense <laughs> is like what I th- I fuck with that. But yeah. like yeah. that's what it is. You know, I, I'm I'm behind that. Now I'm supporting your brand, supporting who you are, what you're doing, whatever, because I'm with that same thing. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. So that's that's nice. cool that you said that though. I fuck with it. Uh so yeah, next question. Uh what's the hardest part about being a creator? Mm. Hmm. I wouldn't call myself a creator. I don't call myself a creator. On my Instagram story or my, my profile, <laughs> I don't have content creator i don't have yeah, creator no. i'm just social media marketing for project and i'm a host for lsai you know what i'm saying yeah. and me i'm me i'm a psychonautic being you know what i'm saying i'm a uh yeah. <laughs> spiritual being yeah, yeah that's I'm, what this shit says literally yeah. bro and oh, i'm yeah. just like yeah, yeah, be the change you want to see in the world yeah and, and so right, like peaceful being it's just like i want to emanate yeah. who i am regardless of whatever i'm attached to in this physical plane you know what i'm saying because i know yeah, inside of here 
It ain't real. It's raw and it's organic light. And I want to mm-hmm. spread that shit as far as I can to whoever I can. Yeah. You know what I mean? And yeah. same, I want people to bounce it back to me so I can gain that light more. Yeah. But yeah. yeah. It's crazy, bro. That shit, For sure. So then we'll change it. What's the That's hardest so part about creating content? Consistency, probably. Yeah, for me, it's uh, keeping uh, up. Making shit that isn't going to get flagged. <laughs> I feel like I can't industry. even. That's why I haven't made TikTok. That's why I can't figure it out. But every time I've made a TikTok for the dispensary, it's gotten taken down. Mm. We made one that has not been taken down. Mm. So. I mean, they flagged him pretty quick. He's so still, you still can't go live for like ever, right? I got banned on. Yeah, you right. You create a whole new one. You just got to like. All right, it's bro. crazy, bro. <laughs> So it's like once I'm you pissed. do that one, that, that one's taken. So, so now you got to make up a whole, you know, you got to be doing it right. For and sure. it's like, I'm not trying to have that TikTok that's just sexualizing cannabis. That's either. the thing, too, bro. It's like yeah. you know all I mean? of this is so easy for certain yeah. types of Listen, individuals. And it's I'm like, not trying to have somebody bro. show some fucking skin for you to buy my weed, dude. Yeah, we just want to be yeah. authentic and real with it, bro. You ain't fucking showing skin. That's how they do Xanax. I mean, that, oh, yeah, bro. it's all over Instagram. It's, Oh, oh, and Instagram, and primarily. Not, but not you know, IG too, models you know? and shit, or, or or just even the brands, man. The they just get the just shit. You know, anything, with the bugs. Yeah. And it's just yeah. like, bro, it's so fucking. It's but that's ass, society. It's, but it's not just is. them. They're just playing a part in society. In society has trained us to be able yeah. to make that a thing in the first place. If it's, society wasn't saying, oh, sex is sells, sex sells, sex yeah, sells, sex. they wouldn't be using that avenue for marketing yeah. you know what i'm saying be and doing i'm just organic dude, i'm not even like, like how we're doing it with the podcast even, even yeah, for dudes right. like i just don't like it i don't think you should sexualize medicine bro you're not out here sexualizing Tylenol. like a grandma like I imagine know, a grandma Tylenol. coming up to the table like seven years old she's like i'm thinking about trying cannabis and half titties out in her face and she's just like hey guy yeah. <laughs> and she's oh like what God. you know like, yeah. i don't i don't want this you know yeah. what the fuck? yeah right right uh, some medicine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, last one we got. If you could collab with any creator or influencer of your choice, who would it be? If you could get an episode in with anybody, who would you pick? Mm, I would probably be Oliver Tree. <laughs> I've heard <laughs> him. He's pretty dope. He's pretty dope. Yeah. That's fucking cool that you fuck with him. <laughs> Samoa, who would you who would you be hype if we got a fucking interview with? Now that we Gary got v. less Oh Gary right. V. Pitches, pitches. Oh, yeah. He might call in for like five minutes real quick. Right. Yeah. Oh, shit. And just talk only. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You yeah. just listen. That'd be just so be fast. Pitch. You'd have to record it. What? Yeah. The it down. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's like, really? <laughs> oh, man. That'd be fire, though. What about you, Swan? Sheesh. Um, man. I don't really know, bro. I don't. Uh. Man, content creators or influencers, like it's kind of the bro. same thing, right? Yeah, just in anyway, I know, I know, I'm just trying to like in my brain like map who but I even still, think that is. Though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And uh, I'm just like, I, I, I really don't have an answer. I don't think. I don't know. Maybe like, um, like Wiz Khalifa, like if he's considered one. That'd you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'd right. like to. I'd like to meet whoever Kikuddy. does Travis Scott's but he's not really music videos. <laughs> Dude, uh, Travis videos. Scott's music videos, even though he's not supposed to be talked about for now or whatever, I keep trying <laughs> to not, and then I'm like, but oh, dude, he has some of the up. best music videos all yeah, ever. He does. All the time. videography is like, really nice. And yeah. those are the videos when you're talking about like trying to figure out how they shot that shit. I'm Man, like, yeah, always. I'll be sitting there like, too. damn, bro. Him and Cole Bennett. Like, music fuck. videos are some of my favorite things to watch, and that's something I'd always want to do. I had a group of people I was going to work with to do that, but, you know, yeah. things yep. happened. I'm actually going to try and work out with some, uh, Rod Marley and Kid Lennon. Oh, hell yeah. Nice. I'm going to rock out with them on some shit. So. Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah. I mean, I fucking, you seem like you can do just about anything, so I'm sure it'd be dope. Oh, shit. Yeah. yeah. We can make it happen. That shit's dope. All right, we got a weed-related whiskey fact this week, Simone. <laughs> A weed-related one? He didn't think I'd have one. No, I thought <laughs> you were going to have one, bro. He thought I'd forget. The uh, weed-related one? We'll yeah, see what bro. it is then. Has anyone heard of a green dragon? No. Uh, uh, actually, it's weird you say that, bro. Yeah. Green dragon? I feel like, yes. And it's, I don't, a, it's a drink? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what is it exactly? So... It's an alcoholic beverage that they infuse with THC. Yeah. Right. When did this ha- yeah. Uh, That's, happen? That's fine. So it like sounds pretty good. 2018, 19, they started figuring out like how to do it. Okay. And basically like you can use whiskey. We're going to have to like not use crown though, but like right. it has to be like 
preferably as high proof possible. I got you. are talking proof. like 150 proof, like, you know, and then you can infuse it just like you infuse anything else. Bro. You can look it up, figure That's out how sick. to do it, and then you got yourself a fucking crazy way to get crossfaded like yeah, that's ridiculous blasted twisted hell what yeah call, what Twist. people like say when they get drunk and smoke Flush. from where i'm from they call it twisted twisted Twist. Nah, bro i'm twisted they like sp- spin around and swirling and shit but shit. i never really got like that bro for me if i drank 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 and didn't and smoke, smoke i would be swirling if bro. i smoke when i'm going up then it like stabilizes and i'm like all right now i'm not swirling anymore i can Walk and shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. 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 Nah, but bro, that would be some knock your ass in the dirt shit. I feel for like sure. they, they infuse wine um, yeah. with cannabis and shit. I'm, I'm pretty yeah. sure too. I'd seen that, but I had to look it up for the show. That's what's up, bro. That's <laughs> nice. a good look. For sure. Yeah, I'm going to have to try some of that. That twisted remark that you came in, came in with, though, it's going to come in handy when we play the game on the after hours because it's like name and shit. Oh, okay. And like different names for shit. Replace uh-huh. our seconds. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. It's just going to be rough. <laughs> it's tight. It's going to be. I don't know. Simone's pretty good at the games, but like I feel like uh, I today, feel like he's got good competition today. I don't yeah, know. we'll okay. see. Fuck. Before we get into that, though, we're going to wrap up the show. We got to talk about the ugly Christmas sweater competition promo. Oof. Tw- December 22nd, is that what they are? That's the holiday live, right? Yeah, the holiday live. Okay, nice. so they got till De- December 22nd, uh, probably around like 6 p.m. because we're going to go live at 7. Um, yeah. To send in a picture of them in their ugliest Christmas sweater. That's and cool. basically, I mean, DM it, tag us, whatever you got to do, all yeah. platforms. And then the winner is going to get a whiskey sour hour sweater to replace that ugly one. Nice. Oh, that's cool. That's fine. It's guaranteed that's fine. not ugly. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's fine. That is fine. Guaranteed yes, not it's good. ugly. Yeah. Yes, right, hoodie, yes, You're going to want to wear it to your events. All of them. All of them. <laughs> um, so, yeah, other than that, where, what do you guys got next? What do you, where can people find you? All that good shit. Um, you can find us uh, on Instagram, the Stony Twan. You can find me on Instagram also at really high C underscore C that is underscore C. <laughs> or all you right, can look up right. the project yeah. OKC. Um, we're working at a dispensary as well, so you can find us in any of that content. Nice. Um, oh, yeah. Facebook, same thing. A lot Twitter, of good work coming out of there. Twitter, nice. Yep. And we got the website www.reallyhighc.com. Yes, and sir. LSAI will be coming. Dropping on December 15th is LSAI.com. Um, Ooh, I didn't know that. Yeah. That's dope. Yes. That's dope. And then when season two. Yeah, when pops, season, season two yeah. pops off December 13th at 4.20 p.m. Central right. Stoner Time. <laughs> Next week, guys. Next week. It's, I mean, that's yeah, it. Yeah, December 13th. It's coming. Let's go. Yes, sir. And as always, you can check us out at Whiskey Sour Hour on all platforms. And be sure to subscribe. Become a member of the Sour Society so you can get access to those after hours. This week's is going to be free. But... You can get links to that in the description. And make sure to send in your questions, theories, comments, or concerns to whiskey at sourhourpod.com so that you can be featured on a later episode. Let's go. We appreciate appreciate you guys for coming out, man. Yeah, yeah, bro. Meeting up, for sure. For coming out, bro. That shit was dope. Hooking up all this gear. I mean, it was a great time. Yeah. Great conversations. Always. Definitely, bro. I agree. 100%. Absolutely. There's much love, everybody, that's uh, tuning in. You know, we appreciate y'all for having us in. We want to thank you guys so much for your time, and we hope you had as much fun listening to as we did making this week's episode. We'll catch you next Wednesday. Always remember, make it a double. We want to thank you guys so much for, or what was it? You know it.